divine from birth to death, lost in infinite trivialities, petty diversions from the central truth of love and emptiness. held in a cage with locks, self-made, unknowingly so, but unwilling to give up the act, unwilling to take responsibility for one's freedom and one's bondage. Love, which shines in the center of every point of creation. Which is the whole and the purpose of this world and all worlds. Now blessed with human birth, blessed and cursed, yet the curse may be transmuted to the greatest blessing, weakness becoming humbleness and humbleness becoming strength. Casting all shoulds and shouldn'ts aside to know what the heart chooses is right and true. Living in nature, which is very, very wild and can be very, very severe, yet abounds with absolute love. The societies have been fashioned very much in a way of false love. They seek love through the deadening of the life within, the taming of the wild, and the confining of the human mind. This is only a pseudo-love and a pseudo-life. is not to be scorned except for those who force their pseudo life on others but life in its purity is very wild and includes severe pain and great joy And so I invite you freely with the warrior spirit to cut away all of those self-imprisoning thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that we know ourselves not as imprisoned, but free to choose and free to choose what is highest and best and which is most filled with love and joy and reality.
you can go now and fill yourself with light and fire which burn away and transmute all those thoughts which deny you as a being which deny your freedom, your worthiness, your love, your power. There's a time for gentleness and is very beautiful and very powerful, but there's also a time for force, both within and without. And there's great value in having a warrior spirit to purely, clearly, and fully annihilate those things within ourselves which block our freedom, our wisdom, and our love, and our joy. Love, love, be blessed, and move with faith and trust, knowing and seeing in all that is the hand of the divine. Which is all for our absolute benefit, even great hardship, is the mother tremendous joy. All which is stripped away from us by life is the birthplace of deeper joy. So walk forward in faith and lightness which is also very deep. There's a tremendous darkness on this earth, a pseudo life, a pseudo life of semi conscious, semi conscious life, which many people live, which is then exploited by those few who seek to control, but at the same time, if you look around you, I think you'll notice that there's a tremendous absurgence of sacred consciousness. Which can absolutely prevail, both within you as an individual being and within the collective. Peace, power, truth, love, and joy.